it is Margaret, Texas Gal Treasures, and welcome to the next segment in my merch series. In this video, we'll be talking about trademarks and how to check an idea that you've got for trademark infringement or if words you are choosing are okay to use when uploading a shirt. Now, I just want to preface this with I am in no way a trademark lawyer, so if there is anything I'm saying that's inaccurate, please let me know in the comment section below. I'm usually extremely careful when I come to <laughs> when it comes to uploading ideas on uh, merch because I really want to guard my account. So I usually err in the side of caution to the extreme sometimes when it comes to ideas because I don't want to get my account terminated. So there are two main websites that I use when searching for trademarks. One of the sites is USPTO and this is the preferred site. It tends to have more information. It's not as user friendly as the other one which is also um, I use is Trademarkia. All right, so let's say you are creating a shirt and this is one of the mistakes I made early on. I didn't realize that the Super Bowl was a trademarked term. So the way you would, I just didn't, okay. <laughs> so on Trademarkia, you would come over, or I would come over and type in Super Bowl, Super Bowl, right? And it will pop up, boom. So here we've got Super Bowl in many different forms, some abandoned, some of them are accepted and acknowledged, like this is television broadcasting. Down here we've got Super Bowl men, women's, children's clothing. Now. Super Bowl, like the game Super Bowl, the Super Bowl, um, my shirt was geared toward the Super Bowl. It didn't say it, but it was in the description box. It said something like, great for your Super Bowl party. Well, with my Super Bowl football on the shirt, and then the Super, or rather just the football on the shirt, and then the Super Bowl in the keywords, um, that sent up a red flag, and so it uh, made it <laughs> kick it out. So on Trademarkia, Here's how I use it. Now, if there is a better process that it makes it easier, let me know because I just, I don't know it. All right, so I'm coming over here. I click on this search trademark database. And then here, it's giving you all of this, lots of fun mumbo jumbo. If you do not need to read this about searching, click here. Okay, maybe if I read all that fun mumbo jumbo, it might be easier. Okay, and then here is where I select the basic word. I select this one and then I type in Super Bowl like so and then I submit query and here's how it pulls it up so it is a little bit more challenging to read because you have to click through so I'm looking at Super Bowl let's see can I which just says Super Bowl here we go so this one's live Super Bowl so I would click on it to see what it focuses on. So this one is jewelry, watches, pins, etc., etc., um, bumper stickers, trading cards, and so on, like that. So you would go through and find different ones that have different, this is the television one, um, different uses. So now I wouldn't go anywhere near Super Bowl. So let's say we had another one. Let's say I was just like, oh, I'm going to put Big Mama on my shirt, right? Big Mama. So let's see if Big Mama's got a trademark. I'm looking on Trademarkia. Again, Big Mama um, engines for boats. This one is abandoned, canceled. This one's accepted for cosmetics, registered. This one's hosiery, trouser socks, etc. Then over here we've got clothing. Oh, oh, abandoned. Okay. So again, another one clothing, abandoned. And so you go through like that, checking it out. Now, the way I've done it and the way I've heard other people is that if it's, let me get back to over here. So let's say this one's registered, Big Mama, but it's boats and engines. So if, if my shirt's like Big Mama, like Big Mama Bear or something like that, I wouldn't worry about it there being a boat Big Mama. Now, if I was creating a shirt that had a boat on it and writing Big Mama, then there might be some problems there. This is how I understand it. Um, some people just say, if you see anything at all, just avoid it at all costs, right? So, um, and again, I'm not a trademark lawyer, so take this all with a grain of salt. This is what, this is what I do. So I'm coming over here to USPTO, 
and we are gonna oh let me go back because I just clicked refine search so let's go over here type in big mama and let's just look at the live ones right and I'm gonna submit all right so we have submitted live big mama combinations and so we're here looking big mamas here's big mama let's see what that one is this is the ships and boats etc so I might not want to use Big Mama on a shirt where I have a boat, but I could use it for something else, right? Here's another one. This says Big Mama Shipment Associates. What is it going with? Well, is it say, oh, cosmetics. Here we go, cosmetics, right? So again, I, I wouldn't want to use it for a cosmetic type shirt. Uh, meat snacks, Pick, pickled sausage. Okay, <laughs> um, so yeah, all right. So that might be one that we do. Okay, so let's say in the next video, I'm going to create a shirt. I'm going to start looking for images. Before I start planning out my shirt, I wanna make sure that my trademark is clear so that I don't have to waste time creating a shirt that's not. So I'm gonna be creating a shirt. Let's say it's going to be a Father's Day shirt, even though it's technically probably too late for me to have a Father's Day shirt put up right now, but you never know. Um, so let's say I want to have a shirt that says Papa Bear. Let's find out if Papa Bear is okay. Papa Bear. Uh oh. So we've got Papa Bear chairs, furniture, Papa Bear cigarette liquid stuff, gloves, hats, hoodies abandoned. Okay. Papa Bear Archery, Papa Bear, this one's abandoned. So it looks like it might be okay. Abandoned, abandoned, abandoned. But I still want to check USPTO. Flipping through Papa Bears, Nutter Butter. So here I'm getting into the plural. Stuffed Toys. I'm, I should be okay because mine's a shirt, not a stuffed toy puzzle or figurine, right? Novelty items. Okay, so let's check over here on USPTO. Basic word, live, and I'm putting in Papa Bear. So here are my few that are live. I'm going to double check. This one is for furniture, love seats. This one is e-cigarettes. This one, and there may be a way to break it down like Trademarkia has it, but I don't know that. Again, this is the archery. Then we have, this is Berenstain Bears. Okay, I get it, get it. stuffed toys, jigsaw puzzles, etc. Okay, so I'm good to go with Papa Bear. Of course, I can't use Berenstain Bears <laughs> on there because that's a whole nother trademark thing. So those are the ways that I check the words that I use and the trademarks to make sure that they will be okay for use on a shirt. Now that's just the main idea. I will come back, let's say I'm creating my title and I'm creating my you know, descriptions. I'll put any wording in there that I'm not sure about um, and check the trademark on certain phrases as I go along as well because just like with my Super Bowl shirt, it wasn't in the title, it wasn't on the shirt, it was in the description and that you know sent up that red flag as far as trademark issue. So definitely um, check all, everything because there are things that are trademarked that you would not have even imagined would be trademarked. Random phrases and things. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave me a comment down below. Again, if there is a better way, if I'm not using the site right, definitely let me know so that I can revamp this video and help as many people as possible. Also, if you have other ways that you're checking your trademarks or other tips, leave a comment down below and check the comment section for other um, discussions going on because frequently there's a lot of learning and um, tips being given in the comment section that you don't get just from watching the video. So thanks so much, you guys. Hit that thumbs up button and I will see you in the next video.